Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Internet and Technology video and I'll talk about how to set up a blog on Squarespace platform. So this is not a blog which is a part of a main website or part of a website. I'm talking about a primary blog website on Squarespace. For example, if you look at my site right now, so this is AhmedDan.com and this is a primary blog website this this blog is not part of another website or it's a blog within a main site and if you look at the post they just you know they'll appear one after another and then there's on the right uh, the blog sidebar uh, which is uh, a very common feature of blog and this is what i'm going to show you today because i was looking to set up uh, or I was looking for a tutorial on how to set up a blog on a website and uh, there are lots of articles and videos on this but uh, what they have in common is that they're all talking about starting or creating a blog within a site I haven't found any uh, YouTube video or articles about mentioning where you can set up a standalone blog or you can set up a primary blog which is not part of a site so that's what i'm going to show you today so i set up with uh, squarespace using my fake email uh, which is right here and uh, i'm going to just you know show you how to create your blog website which is a primary blog website but before you do that i need to talk about something else so Squarespace allows you to have uh, lots of templates and then uh, you can have templates with either you know block sidebar or uh, you can have templates with uh, content sidebar or sidebar which is not content or which is just a navigation sidebar so for a blog you need to have a content sidebar and all the templates they do not offer content sidebar so here is they have a list of uh, templates which offer content uh, content sidebar and you can easily find this by doing a search on Google uh, by putting in editing sidebars on Squarespace then you'll come to this page now if you take a look at the chart here then you will see that you know these templates offer block pages with a sidebar but if you scroll down a little bit then you're going to see that some templates offer sidebar only for blog post not for blog pages so the difference is that when you're uh, choosing a template with blog post then you're not going to have the sidebar if you move to a different page for example if you uh, go to about page on my blog then you'll see that you know uh, each page has the same sidebar so that's what we are looking for in a blog because you don't want you know one page to have a sidebar another page not to have a sidebar if your site is a blog main site so that's why you have to choose a template which offers sidebar for all pages or for all blog pages not just you know blog posts so here are some of the templates now if you go to the score space or if you start with the score space then you're going to come up uh, to a page like this and then here you can just click get started then it's going to take you to a Squarespace template page which would look like this now here you're not going to find you know the templates they mentioned here so I have a feeling that you know this is an old chart uh, I'm not sure if even these uh, you know templates which are newer templates have uh, the feature to have a sidebar in all blog pages uh, but definitely you can check with the square space but uh, we are going to look for the old templates which we found on the chart and you can do that by going to the bottom of the page and here looking for templates from an early version so if you click on it then it's going to take you to a template page and then you can click on all templates and here you're going to get a listing of all templates so the template I'm going to be showing you is, uh, let me just take a look here. Let's start with Bedford because if you take a look here, you can see that Bedford offers block pages uh, sidebar. You can have like, you know, slide uh, sidebar on all pages uh, or all uh, block pages. So 
that's what I'm going to choose here and I'll click start with Bedford and then it's going to take a few seconds to you know ready uh, the template for you and it will then take you to the navigation uh, our site navigation menu on Squarespace so let's just wait until this page loads so here you're going to get an introductory welcome message uh, so we'll just you know hit start and then here you're looking at your configuration uh, section our configure uh, configuration uh, menus and you can see that you know it has pages design uh, commerce marketing and everything so we're going to click on pages and then here looks like you know by default the system created some pages but we are only interested in the pages uh, which uh, or we are only interested on our blog page which is going to be our main website so for example if you look at this very carefully you're going to see that this page right here has a in front so what it means that this is a blog page so this blog page is where you can start but I'm going to just delete you to show you how to create a blog page from scratch so let's create uh, delete that and I'm going to just delete you know here everything else so delete these delete okay so we are left with only one page which is the home page and you can see that home so what is a home page is that when you go to your website for example amidon.com uh, the home page is the page which you look at first or the main page of your blog website so here the home page actually is just a regular page this is not a blog page so we'll create a blog page from here so we'll just click on the plus sign and you choose a blog page and then you see that you know it created a blog page you can name this anything you want but I'll just keep uh, the new blog and when I click on the setting button then I'm going to see an option that set this as home page so once I click on it confirm now your blog page actually is your home page so I can just go ahead and delete the other page and now we have a page but you will see that you know we don't have a sidebar so depending on what type of template you're looking at uh, some templates give you like you know sidebar right away and for some templates you have to activate the sidebar so the way you can do it if you go back and then you can go back to design and you can go back to site styles and then here you're gonna get a bunch of option to change uh, like you know the site header site navigation and main content and everything and if you look carefully under the blog section and there you're going to see there is a sidebar option and it's telling to hide the block sidebar so I'm going to just you know unhide it so if you click on here then we're going to have a sidebar right here so I'm going to just hit save and then I just like to mention that this name is not going to be the same for different templates so for example this template has this name sidebar for some template it might have something different but you get the idea that you have to activate the sidebar and some templates uh, for example five template even you know comes with the sidebar activated you don't have to actually come here to activate but you can move it to the left or right but looks like this template doesn't have that option to move it to the left or right so most likely is going to create a uh, sidebar on the right side so now we can go back to design and then again template and then again we go, we go back to our pages so now here we have our block pages and you can see that you know there's a block sidebar section so basically this section is going to look like this sidebar section which I have right here and you have to add these elements one by one so right now your sidebar is very empty so if you click edit and then if you hit this add block sign or plus sign then you're going to see that you know you're going to get a bunch of options then you have to add one by one just like I did here 
and then you can like you know add even line or space in between for example if you see here that i have a line in between just to differentiate them and it looks much better with a line or space so now if you want to like you know add a text uh, or video or you can add html code for example if you look at my uh, google ad which is right here and amazon ad box which is right here these are just basically html codes so you have to just you know hit codes right here and you have to just insert code in here and that's going to create that part which you're looking at so you can just you know arrange everything you want and you can drag and drop them and to like you know put it back on up or bottom or in the middle you can just rearrange them and then once you're done you can just hit save and then that's going to create a sidebar for you so that's the way you can create a sidebar now let's look at the block uh, content right here so here you're going to have to just like you know create your blog but you have the option to change different settings here uh, you know which you can go ahead and do later on for example SEO image feed and like you know post per page 20 I usually have only five post uh, post per page so you can change this later on and then you can also like you know change the title here you can add even a banner just like the way I have it here and not all template offers you to add a banner but the bedford i believe has that capability so you can just you know add that later on and then you can you know uh change the footer you can change the pre-footer content so you can do lots of things but i'm going to just show you how to create a blog so when you are on your blog page so just click on here then in order to create a block you have to just you know hit add post and then here your title is going to be let's say test title and here is your content so I'm going to just like you know put something just to show you how it looks so I'm going to just copy this and put it here and then once you have everything is ready you can save and publish or you can just save and then here you have other options for example to set up tags categories and like you know SEO or share but let's just save and you can see that you know you have your blog post right here now if you click another blog post then it's just going to be under on top of this one and this one is going to be pushed underneath and still you're going to have your sidebar so basically uh, you're going to have a website exactly like mine and which is a primary blog post and then you can just like you know keep writing blog and everything so that's how you can create a blog uh, primary blog site on website on uh, Squarespace which is not a part of a website rather the blog is the website so your home page is going to be your uh, blog page and let me just uh, show you here something else so when you are on this main na navigation page if you take a look at my site you're going to see that you know i have some more sections here for example books about disclaimer contact so these are actually separate pages and if you click on it it's going to just take you to that page uh, this is actually uh, not a blog page but rather just a page so you can create these uh, pages here just by clicking on main navigation and then you can start with a blank page and then it's going to just create a page and you can just name your page for example books and you can actually drag and change the order here so if you want to keep your like you know main page which is your uh, new blog on top you can do that and then you can keep like you know other pages and then these are going to be uh, like you know uh, these are going to create uh, pages just like I have it here now I'd like to show you how we can change uh, templates so you have to just you know go to design and then go to templates then because we already like you know activated or installed Bedford is going to show up here but if you just install new template just you click on here then it's going to take you to the page which I showed you before then you have to just like you know choose another template and then once you do that then it's going to just you know uh, bring you uh, on 
the design page here and then from here you can just like you know uh, change uh, your uh, template or choose any template so one thing I'd like to mention that if you have uh, many templates uh, and if you'd like to like you know just switch uh, or change the design of your blog your sidebar content is not going to be transferred over from template to template automatically you have to actually do that manually and you have to like you know uh, just work on a template and just like you know uh, create the same sidebar like your other template for example like this and then once you're ready then you can go ahead and switch the template so that's something you want to keep in mind so these are the basics how you can uh, set up a uh, new blog or main blog website on your uh, on a Squarespace and uh, this is actually my first uh, Squarespace tutorial video and if this gets uh, lots of traffic then definitely I'll make some more Squarespace videos Thank you for watching Forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video. There'll be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you